Yo, what is up guys? Jules Gaming here, back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video. In today's video, this is going to be a quite uh, an interesting one. Today, we're going to be fighting the secret boss, Mira. So this is nothing really new, but it is pretty cool just to find and seek the secret boss, you know, just to fight him. It is pretty cool, so, and as I know that I have beaten every boss in the game, I didn't do an exact gameplay of it, but I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to record this because I had nothing else to do, really. So, I'm just going to record me fighting the secret boss, some of the enemies, and, you know, really see what happens. Because I have never actually done this before, so this is actually going to be uh, quite interesting for me. So, what I've heard is you have to go to the red marks, the villainous enemies, is which uh, you have to fight. So I guess that will be the first priority in these, which is the red aura right here. And I already did, um, like, just one of them. And, you know, just to see what it was like. And since I am such an overleveled, I'm pretty much going to one-shot these guys. But when I get to certain bosses, I'm not going to one-shot them or two, three-shot them easily. You know, just because I don't want it to be the video, you know, just to be too short or... You know, just to be like, oh, well, this is too easy. You know, he's just gonna play through the video like it's nothing. But I assure you I'm not gonna do that, or I'll try not to. Alright, so this is Frieza third form, I believe. And got some other enemies on the side. And, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Alright, so it looks like we got a few more on the map here, so we'll just go right to that. And when you take out the enemies here, there's actually different bosses that will appear from the past that you have defeated. You know, such as Cell, Frieza, Androids, any other boss. And it looks like we have Frieza second form and a few other Frieza forms here. S ranks and not much XP, only because this is something you can actually do a little uh, sooner into the game. But having a little XP is better than nothing. Alright, ooh, got Captain Ginyu. And one of his Ginyu Force members, I think, over there. Okay, finish. Okay, well, I, I think I might do is since I'm just one-shotting these guys is... Oh, cutscene? Oh, oh, full power Frieza, okay. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So I think all of them are practically different levels, not the same. It might get harder and harder, or easier, I don't know, since, like, the scaling of bosses in this game are pretty much up and down. So, who knows? All right. So, off to the next one. I think this is a much bigger energy over here with full power Frieza. Okay. I think he's right over here. Yep, there he is. Alright, Frieza. Just one of you? Alright. At this point, I don't really think I even need to transform. I can pretty much just hit him with one attack. Alright, so is that it for this area? Let's see. I think that is... All of them. It looks like that is all of them. Okay, so I think we can just head off to the next area then. Alright, perfect. Alright, all right, so we're off to the next area here. I have some more villainous enemies here. So let's go over and take them down. Alright, okay, so we just have some Red Ribbon Army bots over here. Nothing too hard. The good thing about this move is it can just practically take all out the enemies in one shot. Which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Okay, so, yeah, we have, like, four villainous enemies marks, uh, markings, 
on this map here, so I don't really think this should be uh, nothing really too difficult to handle. Because I do have Vegeta and Piccolo over here who are also uh, over level. Or I'm not sure what you considered over level in Kakarot. Possibly over 100, maybe. Or especially if you're in the 200 mark, I guess. Or in the range of 250. Would pretty much be um, over level. Okay. Alright, so I guess we'll head to this one over here. And the thing with the boss fight with Mira is that I think he is level 100? So, the boss fight I don't think will be... Yeah, kind of like I said before, it's not going to be that hard. So, and oh, I just took out a group of enemies just by flying right into them. Okay. So, yeah, but I'm just going to try to do some melee attacks because I want to see what the fight is like. I don't want to end it right away. Um, you know, just to make things more interesting. But with these guys, you know, I might just take them out. Because these enemies are nothing. Alright. So I think now we can... Okay. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. There's one over here. Might cause some trouble later. Best to do this now. Of course, Goku, of course. For my skills, I also do not have Super Saiyan Blue equipped. I just have Super Saiyan God. Just because of the boss fights that might be ahead. Since they might be somewhat difficult or maybe a medium difficulty i just put on super saiyan god you know there's really no reason to put on super saiyan blue because it might just you know destroy them faster so i just think super saiyan god might be a little bit more uh, appropriate or necessary and just took out another group of enemies man just flying right through them Alright, perfect. Another S rank. Oh, another cutscene. Alright, who are we gonna get? Ooh, Mecha Frieza. Okay. It's pretty interesting. Someone else? Oh, first form cell, okay. And semi cell. Alright, it's an interesting group of enemies. But I think that's nothing that we can handle. Nothing that we can't handle. Alright, so... I think we can just head over... We can just head over... Uh, take him out. And then... Maybe something interesting will happen. Maybe Mira or Toa... Will show up. Alright, who we got here? Semi-Cell, okay. Oh, it didn't take him out in one hit. But that will. Usually it's more of a good combination of you can use that move and then the ultimate Kamehameha because they stand still. They're kind of stunned in a way. So it's not um, too bad of a combo to use. Alright, off to the next villainous area. That is just up ahead. Alright, I think this might be... Mecha Frieza? Are you ready to die? Yeah, Mecha Frieza. Is there two of them? Looks like there's two of them. Okay, I couldn't even tell. Alright, so I think the last one we need to tank out is Semi-Cell. Semi-Perfect Cell. And then... We should be off to the next area of villainous enemies, or we might get a special cutscene of Toa showing up. Let's do this. Should we? Oh wait, no, not semi. Um, first form. So, what was I thinking? We, he was the first one we took out. All 
Alright, so get a lot of these guys here. There we go. Got Angel 20 up in here. Easily take him out. And not if he does that. Okay, well that just brought back a lot of his health. It's the one reason why I struggled with Android 20 is because of that freaking health absorption they, uh, that he does. I even threw my strongest spirit bomb at him, and he still managed to absorb it. To absorb, to absorb, to absorb it. <laughs> God, I'm having a freaking choke over here. Alright, so we have Perfect Cell, and is that it? Just Perfect Cell? Alright, looks like it. And he's, okay, so he's over there. Alright, so let's go take him out. He might have some cell juniors with him. But we shall see. What happens? Alright, so he's right over here. Oh, he's kind of running right to us. Okay. Okay, yeah, he has the cell juniors with him. Alright, so this is not going to be too hard just take him out like this all right maybe a bit of a spirit bomb will that kill him yes it will i mean i guess a good thing about having or doing a lot of damage is that you know getting some s ranks and getting some uh, a good amount of xp which is uh, pretty good to have so it might even though it probably takes a while to level up but it's all good Alright, so that looks like everything, so we're going to move on to the next area. Okay, so we're here to the next area. And it looks like we have some villainous enemies on this map over here. Then maybe Toa or Mira will show up. Give us a little bit of surprise, but you never know. Alright, so, right, so some regular robots. Okay, so the only thing about um, doing this, that since this is something you're supposed to do a little sooner into the game, like a little early into the game, that's why it's not giving you that much XP. Like, this is probably recommended for, like, I don't know, since, like, Mira is, like, level 100, probably, like, level 70-something, maybe 80, I don't know. But, um, I mean, it's a few reasons why I'm getting this done so easily and why it's not giving me a lot of xp so there's a few reasons but the only reason i'm doing this is only because it's a secret boss and you know who doesn't want to fight a secret boss all right so we've got a few more let's go take them out And I'm also still trying to level up to level 300 just to get to that max point so I can fight Golden Freeze at level 1, not, not 100, 300. So, because um, I never fought level 300 Golden Freeza before, so that may uh, take some time to level up. Um, but, you know, I have my methods and ways of leveling up fast, so that will uh, do come about in a short matter of time. But of course, there's still level 300 Lord Beerus, who is extremely tough. I mean, I'm only level, what, 267, and I still really can't even beat level 250 Beerus. I mean, he's kind of hard to beat. Okay. So we're pretty much uh, taking out these guys pretty well. Nice and smooth. We'll probably get to the, fi uh, the final boss in no time. Excuse me. Charge. Oh, they, they hit me. And of course, an ultimate Kamehameha will also do it. Hit him with one shot. Oh, we got a cutscene. Who's that? Raditz and Nappa. Oh, there's a 
so it looks like King Kai knows what's up about this evil, evilness energy. Okay. So I'm not sure how many more enemies we have to fight here, and this is a big energy over here. It's only Raditz and Nappa, though, so I don't think they're going to be a pretty high level. But we're just going to have to wait and see. Alright. They're only level... What does that say? Level 38? Level 38? Is that what I read? Alright. Got a bit of XP, and we got a level up. <laughs> oh, looks like we got a special guest. You will all continue to fight so that I can see the completion of my masterpiece. Just you wait. I will show you my ultimate power. Vegeta. Alright, so it looks like we have a villainous Vegeta we gotta fight. And some of his goons as well. So let's go over and take them out. And they're right over there. Oh, okay, I see him. I do believe that there is one part in this secret uh, boss event is where you kind of have to fight um, two fusions, I believe? Two fusions, uh, Vegito and Gotenks, if I'm not mistaken. And they're both 100 both level 100. So if you are a little below 100, that actually might be proven to be a bit of a challenge. Alright. Okay, so we have a new enemy on our hands. We have Kid Boo, who is a very tough enemy in the franchise. Take him out. There we go. Or Kid Boo was in that scrap if you guys d did not see him. Alright, so, yeah, so this is the area we're at. I think we're at the Wasteland. So, we have a few villainous enemies uh, here, so we can just take them out. Hopefully, this will not be a long process, because this really shouldn't take us too long. Uh, you know, just fight some of the villainous enemies and then head to Mira and Toa, if, we're even, if, we're, um, if we are even going to fight both of them. Possibly just Mira. You know, since he's the muscle and Toa is the brains of the operation. Okay. So, we'll just go over there since it's closer. Yep, okay, so we're getting a good amount of XP as well. Not... Uh, a huge amount, but a decent amount of XP. We did level up once, or did tend to level up once, which is not too bad. Alright, so here's our next villainous enemy. I think we have someone big over here. Not sure who. There might be just someone a little... Uh, okay, never mind. I thought it was someone a little bit more 
threatening. I mean, all villains at Dragon Ball are threatening, but some of them are a little weaker than others. Okay, so how many do we have left? We have one more left, it looks like. At least I think. Because some turn off and on with different location uh, points on the map. Looks like uh, I gotta go the other way. Whoops. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right. Should we over there? Those are marker. Let's see who we have this time. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. And the only reason I only have Vegeta and Piccolo as my assistants is only because that I'm also trying to level them up. You know, I'm also trying to get Vegeta to the 300 mark and Piccolo also to the 300 mark, but he's a, uh, a lot lower than Vegeta and Goku here, but I just have him here because he's like the third highest level uh, that I have out of all my Z fighters here. So that's one reason why I do have him uh, equipped. Okay, so we just took them out. Uh, let's see, is there another one on this map? Let's see. I think there... Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. I think I see it over there. Is that right there in the corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is. Okay, so yeah, so there's one more on the map. Right over there. Okay, so we can just head to that over there, then. And then maybe we can get another cutscene with Mira or Toa. Maybe they'll show up, say something, then disappear. Like they always do. Alright. Alright, gentlemen. Do a spirit bomb. This should take him out in one hit. Yep, there it is. Oh, looks like I missed a guy. Just use some melee attacks. There we go. Oh. Something's happening. Oh, it's, uh, what's his name? Pupio? Pupio, I think it is. Something. And Deborah, okay. Got some interesting enemies ahead. Oh. And Boo Gohan absorbed, okay. Alright, some threatening enemies. I know Deborah is a bit of a problem. Boo Gohan absorbed, or Boo Han, if some of you like to call him. It's definitely a threat. We'll see if this will work. You may not one shot him, but it will stun them. There we go. Throw a spear bomb. And there we go. Perfect. And S rank. Alright, so was that the last one? Or were they just showing up in... No, I think there's another one. Maybe. Hang on. We'll see. Uh, okay, no. Okay, yeah, there are there are two more. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think if there's more, they're not gonna show up in the same one. But yeah, there are two more left. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll just head right over then. So we took out uh, Boo Gohan Absorbed. So we're either going to face Deborah or Pai Pai Pew Pew. The guy that Vegeta fought in the chamber thing. Alright, 
Oh, we got the Bora. Okay. Easily just throw a spirit bomb. If I can actually hit any of them. Oh, man, that almost killed him. Wow. Surprised he actually survived that. We got Majin Vegeta. And I think we have Majin Buu over there as well. And finish. Perfect. Alright. So then we shoot off one more. Uh, one guy. And I think that might be the this last area not sure i didn't look i just kind of rushed to the other area where i saw a villainous enemy uh mark on the map all right so the mark is right over here Alright, so shouldn't be too far ahead now. Hopefully we can do this pretty well. And I'll try to make the final boss fight, kind of like I said before, I'll try to make the final boss fight last a little longer, because I'm, I'm not going to try to end it right away. Because, uh, you know, uh, you know um, I just don't want to make it seem like, oh, well that was easy. You know, kind of like I said before. You know, I'm going to do some melee attacks just to see, you know, what Mira will do. Just see what kind of moves he'll have. Got some memorable enemies here. Take him out. Alright, and then we should have Yakaron, I think his name is. Now, when I first played this game, I freaking struggled with him. And then <laughs> I, w I wasn't sure why. But the enemy difficulty is up and down by scaling. Like I have said before. So, it was pretty interesting how I actually lost to him many times. Okay. Oh, there's Kid Boo. Okay. Alright, so now we have the big guy. Alright. So now, I think this one is the final area. Sorry about my phone ringing. It's like the, it's like the second time that happened. All right, that was my bad, guys. All right, so now we have Kid Boo over here. Hopefully we can take him out. It looks like we have Majin Boo and uh, Boo Gohan absorbed. All right, still nothing that we can't handle. Easily take him out. And I think that is all of the enemies here in this uh, particular area. Yep, that looks like all of them. Alright, so it looks like we have two... Uh, two villains enemy marks right over here. So I guess we'll just go here to the village. Hop over and just see what happens. Excuse me, guys. Oh, cutscene right away. Oh, here we go. Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Looks like we have someone else, too. And Super Saiyan Vegito. Or it might be Super Saiyan 2. I think it's just regular Super Saiyan.
All right, so we have two powerful enemies here. We have to fight. So it looks like this might be pretty exciting. All right, so I think we have only one uh, pinpoint, which is uh, all the way over there. So let's just go on ahead. Oh, can I go over this? Oh, I guess I can. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. And okay, so they're all the way in the corner or the crevice of that area. I can see a steel bridge. Might cause some trouble later. Let's hope Best we don't to run to any other enemies here. That stone seems pretty don't want sturdy. Don't really want them to slow me down. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Oh, there they are. They're standing there. Okay. I thought there was a red aura around them. Okay, yeah, they're just standing here. And I still got ran into an enemy. Even though I just ran right through one. Okay. Go spirit bomb. I could have done an ultimate combat on my op, but that's okay. And looks like one of these guys over here is kind of defensive. Okay, so now we can go over and fight him. I've been waiting for this. It looks like you've improved. It's finally time. The final stage of the experiment can commence. All right, so Toa left us with Vegito and Trunks. And yeah, okay, so they have, they're both on level 100. I think I'll just go Super Saiyan, uh, you know, just to up the ante just a little bit. Use a Spirit Bomb, and down. And that is quite a lot of XP. It's not a bad amount. I think Super Saiyan might just be uh, really good for this mission here. I don't really think anything uh, beyond that would be necessary, uh, necessary per se. You've all done a marvelous job. All of the energy generated from your fights has contributed greatly to Mira's glorious revival. Everything is in order for the revival. Let us go now, Mira. I will end all of you. Okay, so I think that is everyone here? So I think that's all the villainous enemies. At least I think. Uh, let's look around. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. They disappeared. Or we might have to be on a off-planet area? I think that might be the case. Uh, I don't know, let's see. Okay, yeah, I think it's in the land of the Kais. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, because after I just put my map down, uh, King Kai just said, there's an uh, evil energy emerging from the uh, planet of the Kais, so that's the uh, one place we have to go to. Alright, so now this is the moment of truth. Alright, where are they? They're right behind me, I think, are they? Yeah, they're right over here. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh, Mira's here too. Surprisingly, you can get really close to them without the triggering the cutscene quite yet. Finally. These 
energy levels are just as I predicted. No, perhaps far greater. If Mira can absorb all of the energy you produce, he'll become the ultimate warrior. And the demon realm will finally be restored to its former glory. I doubt that you can best my masterpiece now that he is resurrected and more powerful than ever. All right, so it looks like we're gonna fight Mira. Prepare yourselves. Honestly, that, that doesn't look pretty bad. Let us see how you perform. All right, so I'm gonna try to hit him with some melee attacks. I'm just gonna go uh, Super Saiyan just to make sure you know the battle will last a little longer. You know, really don't want to end it right away. He is really fast though. All right, so let's see what kind of moves he has. Okay, like body smash or body impact. Okay. Ooh, what was that? Is that a dark Kamehameha? It's a pretty interesting move. It's kind of like, um, Super Black Kamehameha in Xenoverse. It actually kind of looks like Rose, because it's, uh, because it's pink. Okay, oh, I thought he was going to do, like, a special animation there. But it looks like he's got some moves that I've never even seen before. Oh, man. He keeps knocking me back, but it's not doing anything. Okay, he's rushing at me. I just try to not to get hit as much. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's something new. It's pretty cool. Alright, this mirror boss fight is pretty cool. If I was a lower level, it might be a bit of, uh, it might be a little more challenging, if I'm not gonna lie. Alright, come on, Mira, work with me. Alright, getting some hits on him. He's quite, he's holding in there. Pretty strong, but only because I'm using some melee attacks. If I just did all key blasts, it would just end him right away. And I am not hitting him for some reason. Wasn't he above me? Oh, I just missed all of that. Alright. Let's do this. Try to stun him. Okay. He's out. And then... Kamehameha! There we go. Got a good amount of XP. Got some Z-Orbs and a level... Up on top of that. Ooh, Vegeta and oh Vegeta and Piccolo also leveled up. That was perfect. That was a pretty cool boss fight. How, how could I lose? No, Mira. You are simply not yet complete. That's all. You'll need even more energy to reach your full potential. More. I must absorb more energy. I have an idea. We'll move to another timeline. We should be able to procure more energy there. We've done all we can do here, but that doesn't mean the fun has to end. I'll leave you with some of my creations. They should provide enough entertainment for you. Until we meet again. Alright, so it looks like that is the end of Mira and Toa. Not totally though, because since we didn't actually defeat them. Alright, reappearance of super villainous enemies. Okay, so it looks like the villainous enemies can reappear. So I guess that's always fun to fight them again. So, um... That's, that wasn't too bad for a mission, guys. So anyways, I think I'm going to end this one here. We defeated the secret boss, Mira. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, you know, subscribe. I'll have more content. Definitely try to get up to level 300, fight Golden Frieza. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys later. Oh, oh, wait. It's not over yet, is it? Oh, wait.
That's a little embarrassing. I still have some extra time left, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just caught my... Yeah, it was a little embarrassing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just... Yeah, it was, it was random.